in SEO, this has been like a big debate in the last couple of years. Will the AI generated content last on page one? Or is it going to be programmatically identified and eliminated? And I think we're kind of at a point now, like we look at the LLM models that have come out. We look at GPT-4, we look at GPT-5, we look at the ones that Claude's are releasing. I would argue text generation, we've pretty much peaked. It's really good. It's kind of hard to take text generation and make it even better than it is. Because at this point, we're able to synthesize perfect sentences, express ideas in a really good way. And now it's really more about how do we connect that into other systems to create better content. But page one of Google, when we think about that, how is that going to be transformed by Google's future positioning on whether this content, was it generated at all with AI? Zero or 100% or even partially? And at what point is it to AI that they don't want to put that content on page one? What's interesting is like we've been running this detection analysis like every quarter. And what we see currently page one, just using like a naive chat GPT based detector, we see over 20% of page one is AI. Wow. The source of the AI overview has been created using AI, 20% of it. Wow. So it's probably more like maybe double that. Maybe yeah. it's like 40%, right? Yeah. And then there's also the question of like, how much of it, was it all of it made by AI or was just like some percentage of it made by AI? But clearly there, what Google is showing us is like, they're okay with it being AI, at least to some extent. And now maybe that changes, but at least where we are today, they're understanding that AI is actually able to do a good job answering users' intent yeah. and creating engagement.